Hi guys, we're at the end of week 23 of taking 150 milligrams of sertraline to treat triple PD, MDDS and CPTSD. I hope you're all doing okay. Um, this week, a lot's happened. Um, as you know, so I'm just getting a bit of hair off my phone. Um, as you know, um, I quit work on Friday. I think that was a good thing to do. Um, I'm, I've joined a support group on Facebook for vaccine injured. Sorry, I've got, I've still got light sensitivity. I just need to get the sun out of my eyes a little bit better. Um, I've joined a, a support group for people that were injured from the COVID vaccine. And um, there's so much support there. Um, they've got a list of doctors that are kindly um, giving their time to the group um, for free, um, therapists offering support um, and they're doing sort of regular um, meditations and uh, mindfulness practices via Zoom which is all free so I'm going to take advantage of those things um, and I'm just going to focus on healing. Um, I had one of the nicest days I've had in a long time yesterday. Um, I was in Margate and I'm a happy place. Um, I saw my friends during the day um, who both sort of represent different parts of my personality I guess. So being around like-minded people was really um, helpful. Um, and then I went with my other half. Um, to a club last night and we danced our asses off for four hours um, to my favourite music and I was in literally in heaven um, I feel it's so weird isn't it it's like I feel safe in that sort of environment maybe it's because I used to be a DJ or I, I don't know what it is or just the music itself just is healing for me um, I was dancing so hard that I couldn't hardly move today and I probably look a bit battered so um, I was sober, completely sober um, but yeah I'm paying for it a little bit today but I think that's just because it was I was tired I did, I did quite a bit of walking during the day and then a lot of dancing and I didn't have any symptoms nothing again so the only days that I've had no symptoms at all nothing are the days where I've been dancing, raving, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I don't even think that's down to distraction. I think it's just the release of energy from the body. Um, I had some healing uh, today. Um, one of my friends in Margate, she's a, I suppose you could call her a white witch. Some people would call her a white witch. Other people would call her a psychic or a lunatic I don't know <laughs> but um, being around her I feel quite normal and I tend to gravitate towards spiritual people so she did some uh, she did a reading for me actually um, and considering we've not known each other very long she was able to tell me a lot of things about me that no one else could possibly know she then did some energetic work with crystals um, and I really felt a lift. I felt this energy leaving my body and that's what I need. So I'm gonna see her every week that I'm down there, every weekend that I'm there to do that work. But she said, there's only so much we can do right now because you're storing all this up because you have to. All this energy is in your chest and, and you know everything because you're having to. You don't wanna let it go until you know that your father's estate is all done once that's done she said just to warn you you are gonna hit the floor but that will be not not in a not in a um, the way like you did when this whole PPPD thing started she said it's not gonna be like that it's not gonna be depression either she said it's gonna be sheer exhaustion because you're gonna feel free enough to let all this energy go she said you've been constant constantly in fight or flight she said and you're going to have no reason to stay there now because you know what's going on with this dizziness business you're aware of what you need to do to heal you're doing all the right things um but 
you're gonna need about three days in bed and it will hit you and you're gonna feel so fatigued but you don't need to fear that just expect that to happen and take the time you need to heal and she said and I think in some sort of subconscious way you've you've prepared the way for that to happen because you've quit work you know what's coming and you're in the best possible place right now um, so that was reassuring um, comforting as well because my mum came through to her and there was there was things that were so specific there's no way that she could have known um, which again was a comfort to me um, so yeah, it's been an interesting weekend. I've had a lot of fun and I'm now exhausted. Um, I've got a few things planned this week. I'm, I'm seeing another healer on, uh, but she's again, a friend of mine. I'm seeing her on Wednesday. Um, not for anything specific, just being around the right people. Excuse the yawn in the background. It's just, uh, he's forgetting that I'm on YouTube. But anyway, um, what else? just going to focus on the creative stuff I've got a market stall planned um, to sell my makes because I've still got a load of stock that I had left over from before I got ill um, that needs to go so um, I'm doing a market stall in Margate starting Easter Sunday um, so I'm excited about that and I just need to get back into what I was doing before there's no reason to hold anything off anymore but my friend Dee is right, her name's Dee as well. Um, she's right in that I'm holding all this all this in my body because I feel like I can't let go yet because I have too much to think about and too much to do still. So um, until it comes to an end, I can't release it. So I'm looking forward to it coming to an end. I'm looking forward to the release and uh, just shifting my focus back towards life and outside of my body and my feelings and symptoms. Um, yeah, what else is there to tell you? I think that the medication, I don't think there's any more that it can do for me. I think the rest is lifestyle changes. Um, I really, I had some blood work done last week. Um, I'm on the border of pre-diabetic range again. So, I mean, I'd lost so much weight in June 2022. I was like three stone lighter than I am now. And it's only for the fact that I, I've stopped walking. That's that's all that's changed. I haven't changed what I'm eating. Um, so I need to, I've set myself a daily routine on my notes, my phone notes, and I've got to set alarms to remind me to do certain things. So to get back into the walking, um, I need to do really, I need to do between 10 and 12,000 steps a day. Um, and now the weather's going to improve I'm, I'm going to get back on that um, I do need to eat more clean um, I'm not going carb free I did try that but I think it's a bit too extreme for me I think that my body needs um, needs a balanced just balanced diet rather than a natural diet um, so I'm just going to just make small changes you know um, try not to eat after 7 o'clock at night um, I don't need three meals a day. I could just have like a, um, either have like a big lunch with carbs in it um, and do two walks a day and then have like a, I, I don't really have a lot of carbs in the evening anyway. I tend to just have like either meat um, and salad. Um, you know, so, I'm carb light in the evening. I'm just gonna, yeah, I just need to, I, I, I had, oh yeah, another thing I meant to tell you. I went to this homeopath place and I had this bioresonance testing done, which is just to explain, it's, um, it was a machine invented by a physicist at Cambridge University about 20 years ago. Um, it's, it works on the basis that every cell in your body has a frequency and this machine can read the level in certain your cells so it can tell you what you're allergic to the foods that you should avoid or uh, non-food things that you're particularly um uh, what's the word 
what I suppose allergic to or intolerant to. Um, so it listed all those things out and it, it showed that I'm extremely deficient in omega-3. So I know that someone like me would eat, um, eating salmon is not enough. So I need to get the supplementation right for omega-3 um, and try to sort of maybe lower the histamine a little bit. Um, I know what I need to do. I know what I need to eat. I'm not. I'm not doing anything drastic. It's really the the exercise that I need more than anything. I think I know my body by now. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. So um, yeah, it was my plan to start that tomorrow. I've got it in my calendar notes um, to do two walks, but I actually have a. Um, a mindfulness course at half 10 in the morning for 45 minutes so um, I'll try and get two walks done in the afternoon tomorrow around that um, and just sort of slowly ease into those lifestyle changes um, yeah so all good um, I'm no longer afraid of the symptoms um, the main thing is, as always, I need to learn to sit still without any kind of distraction or appliance or anything, um, which I think is doable, but I think it will come in time with a little bit of practice. Um, slowly, slowly catching monkey is a ridiculous English saying I've not even don't even know what that means but um, the idea is it's just you know going full full speed ahead is not the answer with it because you're just going crashing um, just do a bit at a time and uh, give myself the time that I need to to heal through the process so anyway um, I love you and leave you Jill I have you taken them yet what's stopping you call me if you need to Diane, a lot of love, I hope you're doing okay, Lance how you doing um, just feel free to, to uh, chat in the comments and uh, love you guys and I'll speak to you later take care